last chance for Russians to retreat as Ukrainians are about to finalize its encirclement of Liman. At the same time, Russia states the liberation of Donetsk as its final objective in this war, which is a significant decrease from its original goals, which makes you think that they want to end this war as soon as possible. And in fact, just in two days we might see two completely different scenarios. On September 30th, Putin might either announce a victory to his people or declare a full mobilization and an actual war. But more about all of this in just a couple of minutes. What's up, investors? It's the Russian dude. And let's go straight to the point and talk about the counteroffensive of Ukraine in the east and upcoming full encirclement of Liman. And first of all, as you can see from this picture, Ukrainians were able to liberate this small town of Kivsharivka. And as we go a little bit to the south, we can see that Ukrainians were able to liberate Novoselovka as well. In addition to that, Ukrainian forces retook its neighbor Zelena Dalina. And according to Russian media sources, Russians are now trying to retreat from Kaladyazi. On this map you can see the changes that happened just in the last couple of days and right now I will tell you why Ukraine wants to encircle Liman and how they are planning to do it. So first of all the most obvious thing is that the main direction of a Ukrainian attack against Liman comes from the northwest of this city. But what some people might have missed is that Ukrainians also started slowly advancing from the south East. And those Ukrainians in the south, they block the third direction and constantly exhaust those Russians in Liman. Which means that the last escape route for Russians lies in the northeast and it leads to Severodonetsk. And like mentioned previously, some Russians already started escaping, such as from cities as Kolodizy. Which is a smart thing for them to do, because this is just one of the few options how they can stay alive. But you know what? In addition to that, Ukrainians also started slowly advancing towards Svatovia. Because as for now, this is one of the few remaining roads which allows Russians to resupply its comrades in Liman. But pretty much yes, Liman will be encircled and liberated 100% and most likely this will happen sooner than anticipated. And after this, one of the final major battles of the East will be for Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. And to be honest, some people might ask, what about these 300,000 Russian new conscripts. What if Russia sends them to defend the East? And you know what? There are already reports from the front that these conscripts are already participating in the combat. We even have this video of Russian prisoner of war who is saying that he was only mobilized six days ago. And I mean, it only reinforces the fact that Russia wants to win battles with numbers of people. And I mean, you can only imagine the more morale and willingness to fight of such soldiers. Alright, and before I talk about Russia stating its final objective in this war, please allow me to quickly show you just four footages from Ukraine. And while I'm going there, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you like this style of daily updating. Alright, so in this first picture from Kharkov we can see the consequences of Russians shelling the city. And then we have this video from Dnipro and it shows Ukraine Ukrainian air defense system in action, intercepting Russian missiles. Going more to the south, we can see the consequences of Russians shelling Nikopol. And finally, Ukrainians reportedly were able to destroy a Russian military base in Kherson. And here is a very interesting infographics showing how many military vehicles Ukrainians were able to capture from Russians. Which basically means that Russia became number one donor to Ukraine. And by the way, if you want to see first person combat footage from Ukraine, please consider checking my Patreon. The proceeds will be donated to Ukraine and you can find all the useful links down below. Alright, now let's briefly talk about the second major part of the video. And according to this article, Russia just named its minimum task in this war in Ukraine. And long story short, the main goal of Russia at this very moment is to occupy 
I mean to liberate the entire Donetsk region. And if you think about it, this is a significant decrease from the original goals of Russia. Because if you remember, some of the original objectives was to not let NATO expand, to liberate the entire Donbass region and to eliminate every single Ukrainian Nazi. And since the new goal is uh, relatively small in comparison to the previous ones, I have an assumption that Russia is looking to end this war as soon as possible. And here is why. Many months ago I was already making the assumption that Russia will continue to reduce the size of its goal just so they can claim a victory as soon as possible. In addition to that, all these scam referendums are over, which means that Russia will now accept these territories as a part of Russia. Which gives Putin a perfect opportunity to proclaim victory to his people. We even have this statement by the British intelligence, which basically says that Putin is set to address the nation on September 30th. And most likely, in his message, he will acknowledge the acceptance of these occupied territories as a part of Russia. In addition to that, he might claim that Donetsk is under relative control and try to sell this idea to his people. And as a result of these two things, I think it is very much possible that in two days Putin will declare at least a partial victory. But hold your horses, we might potentially have completely the opposite thing to happen. Because as soon as Russia officially acknowledges these four regions as a part of Russia, any combat actions on these territories will be considered as the attack against Russia. Which basically means that Putin might use this as an excuse to declare an actual war and a full mobilization. And the new objective of Russia will be to protect its own territories from Ukrainian invaders. And since we spoke about the referendums, here is your very brief and very ridiculous update. And trust me, you're not gonna believe some of it, but here we go. The votes are officially counted and the highest percentage of support is in Donetsk. 99.23%. I mean, that's Snoop Dogg level high. And the reason for such high numbers, as you can see from this picture, it is because probably they were counting every single ballot, especially the empty ones, as a yes. One of the first Russian official statements came from the Russian representative of the United Nations, Vasily Nibenzia. And he said that Donbass, Kherson and Zaporozhye already turned away from Ukraine. And in the future the rest Ukrainian regions will do the same. Then we have the leaders of Donetsk and Luhansk, Denis Pushilin and Leonid Pasichnik, who already went to Russia to finalize some details. And I mean, what kind of details they need to talk about if everything was decided long time ago. But at the same time, the infiltrators in Zaporozhye and Kherson Balitsky and Saldo respectively, instead of going personally, they send a notification about finalizing such details. And I guess, yeah, if they had to personally cross the entire territory of Ukraine and go to Russia, probably something will happen to them on the way. And finally, according to Vladimir Zelensky, if Russia acknowledges the results of these referendums, all peace talks in the future will be completely impossible. But I'm pretty positive that Zelensky understands that his statement is just a formality. Just like this past referendums. I now want to personally say thank you to Nick Wells, Steven Much and Kit Clausen for becoming my most recent channel members. And if you want to support the channel and unlock some benefits, such as for example me always replying to your comments, please consider becoming my channel member as well. Also, feel free to join our Discord and follow me on Instagram, where I'll be posting stories from Canada from time to time. Thank you so much for your attention, stay safe and see you tomorrow.